Hey everyone, we've come over to uh, do Dwayne Barney's old place where he lived for several years. What'd you live here, four years? Four years. Four years he lived here in the mountains, so I don't know how you get back here beyond walking. You don't have a lot of stuff because it's very, very difficult to get back here, but here's his bedroom and his old house. He now lives over off the road over in Santo Tomas. Just uh, really amazing. But you can see it was well made, uh, very good construction, bamboo and some uh, big timbers for the roof, metal roof, uh, bamboo weave. I'm being careful not to fall through the floor because uh, it's been about four, five, six years, seven years since he's lived here. So I'm very heavy, but yeah, so it's basically a couple, uh, one, two, two room. A bedroom and then a little maybe kitchen area place to sit and maybe somebody else could sleep there trying not to fall through because like I said the bamboo is old so you know, very heavy but yeah so this is his old place we hiked to I think it's, it took us about that's three or four kilometers from his house up the mountain some of it's uh, bushwhacking and what we call in America going through the uh, stuff but got cobweb here but so and he's able to walk all this we come down the path here so he's just very isolated and uh yeah typical philippine style uh home made of uh, wood and bamboo and metal roof i still to me it'd be difficult to carry the metal back here I know you harvest the bamboo. I may have to help him a little bit here. But he's doing real well. He hiked the whole way, three or four kilometers. He can't see, probably 90% uh, of the stuff's not able to see, but he's able to negotiate all this. Uh, I fell down, as I said in the other videos, twice. So, but yeah, he lived here for four years. and. Now has a place over uh, along the main road, so I'll I'll uh, part this. Hold up a minute, and I'll help you a little bit, because that's very very rugged through there. Lots of obstacles. So yeah, so I'll get over here. Yeah, way back here in the uh, mountains, not too far from the highway. I think we're maybe a couple kilometers from the highway. But his son says go through here, so I don't know how or why, but there doesn't look like it's possible, even for somebody that can see and walk, like myself. But uh, we're going to go down through this uh, steep, rugged hillside here. Here's this place from this side, so still looks really, uh, you know, nice. Like I said, when it was uh, first made, I'm sure it was a, a beautiful, uh, you know, well, it's well made and it's lasted bamboo usually I think last about 10 years here uh, three to five at the worst and 10 to 20 maybe at the most so 10 15 years is the uh, lifespan of a bamboo house so but it's a natural uh, product and readily available here so that's why lots of people build out of it it's uh, when you live out here there's bamboo everywhere so you can harvest it and get your building material for free so but it's been real treat uh, hiking with them and them showing me around stuff so I hadn't ever been up here before so quite nice well we'll cut this one off from here from uh, Barney and Dudoy's uh, place here in the mountains uh, and then we're going to probably head back here I don't know where they're taking me to the road or head back down the trail we came on so thanks for watching everybody have take care and uh talk to you later you guys want to say bye bye all right the guys said bye thanks for watching